All right, YouTube, not only did my three B varieties not ripen at the same time, that's the Kahalu, the Bacon, and the Forte that I wanted to do a taste test all at once. Not only did they not ripen at the same time, uh, the Kahalu is ready, but the other two, the Bacon and the Reed are not. But also, I waited a little too long to harvest this, so let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Okay, doesn't look too bad in the inside, so let's see if we'll go ahead and give it a taste test. If this is bad, I'll have to do it again. I have uh, four left, so, or three left, three left, so I can do it. Wait another two weeks and try it again. Let's see. Maybe a little, wait a little too long, I think, but let's try it. I don't know. Maybe it's not overripe. You know, maybe that's just the normal um, softness that it should be because it, it tastes excellent. So, no, it's rich. I'll say it's rich. Has a decent oil content, um, but I'll say it's it's rich. It's an excellent flavor. I really like it. So maybe I'll try this in another month or two and see. But yeah, it's a rich flavor. It's excellent. None of the water, not watery at all. So, um, I, I mean, that's the best I can say right now. So um, I'll try it again in a few weeks. And I'll also compare it to the other B varieties, the bacon and the uh, forte. All right, a few days ago, I did a taste test on the Kahalu avocado, but the bacon and the Forte were not uh, ripe yet. <laughs> so again, I think I waited a few days too long, especially on the Forte. It's kind of soft, but we'll see once we cut it open. I thought I had waited too long on the uh, Kahalu. When I cut it open, it, it was fine. Um, so this was cut open two days ago. It didn't oxidize too bad. So that's one characteristic, but uh, let me cut these open and um, test these three uh, B varieties together. All right, so the Kahalu, the uh, Fuerte, and the bacon. Ba this bacon has a <laughs> particularly big seed, but uh, yeah, if you look here, I did wait a little, maybe a day or two too long on these two. So, um, We'll go ahead and try it anyway. All right, so I'll try the bacon first. Um, for me, I, I'll tell you ahead of time, I had a bacon last week that was really good, but I typically I wait until uh, January, February. In, in my opinion, that's when it's best. But let's try it now here in November. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't I don't get that sweet flavor like my bacon's had last year. So me, I don't like the sweet flavor. This one's a little more nutty. Usually I don't get the nutty flavor until like uh, January. To be honest, it's really good. Surprisingly, um, I don't like the thin skin. So let's anyway, let's try the uh, Forte which has a thin skin, just like the bacon. A lot of people get these confused, but as you can see, they're, they're uh, different. Same with the Forte. I usually wait until December, January on the, these. I just wanted to do a taste test with the three B variety, so I picked it here in November. So anyway, uh, it was on the Forte. It's, it's really nutty already. So I think it's got the oil content already in November. Um, this tree is loaded. The bacon only has a few this year. This tree is loaded. In the Kahalu, I, I have four on a multigraph tree. But I'm really surprised with the bacon so far. Honestly, not crazy about bacon usually but uh this year i gotta say i don't get that aftertaste 
that I used that I used to get. And that's the second one I've tried this year. They've both been kind of nutty and buttery. Now this Kahalu I'm trying is uh, again it's a couple days old, but I honestly I would put it in, in a tie with the Forte. Very in a tie with maybe Forte and Haas. I know some people like it better, but I think has a potential to be better if we wait a couple more months. But right now, I would put it on uh, Kahalu on par with the for with the Forte and the Haas, which I've always thought were about equal. But there's a debate on which one's better. Some like Haas, some like uh, Forte. But anyway, that's three B varieties. The seed comparison looks like the bacon has the largest seed, followed by the uh, Forte and the uh, Kahalu. But luckily, my Forte is loaded this year, so I can try one every couple weeks for comparison. So, anyway, um, you like this video, um, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And have a nice day.